how's everybody doing today? My name is Erin, and you are in Folds, no, Finds and Folds 101. <laughs> uh, we have a playlist and a link if you'd like to listen along to that as we flow uh, together. It's going to be about an hour class. If you have two blocks, that's totally an option for you, and also a blanket for your knees. If you have some sensitive knees, we will be on them for just a little bit of time. To get started today, we're going to go ahead and lie down on our backs. Keep your eyes open as you begin to make your way down to your back. Let your legs go long, your arms come down by your side, maybe taking up a little bit more space than you need. Let those shoulder blades roll underneath you so that they're flat on the mat. And then just gaze up at the ceiling. Begin to notice those points where your body is touching the mat, starting at the back of your head. Maybe your shoulder blades, the back of your arms, the back of your hands, your hips, working your way all the way down to your toes, just taking space to recognize those points of pressure. Once you get all the way down to your feet, Work your way back up to your head with the points that aren't touching the mat. So maybe that space at your heels where your calf meets, maybe the back of your knees, your lower back, all the way back up to your head. Once you've made your way all the way back up, just let your eyes softly close. Begin to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Continuing this for five more breaths, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. On your last exhale, just softly begin to notice the body. If there's any areas of tension where you're still holding on. And then seal your lips to breathe in and out through your nose. Finding space for your body to just relax. No effort. Nothing is needed here except for you to just lay down. Let your jaw soften. Take a swallow, relax your throat. Notice if there's still effort in the body. Knowing that the ground is underneath you to support you. It isn't going anywhere, and it's okay to soften. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, begin to invite some movements back into your body. A wiggle of the fingers, of the toes, a roll of the wrists, the ankles. And then when you feel ready, at your own pace, at your own time, gently begin to bring the knees to a bend and pull them in towards the chest. From here, take your hands to your kneecaps. Breathing in and out through your nose. Inhale, extend the legs out, straighten your arms, pull those shoulder blades back. Exhale, gently pull those knees in towards your chest. Inhale, pull the knees away, and then exhale, pull the knees in. Two more times at your own pace, to your own breath, using the full inhale and the full exhale to make these movements. Inhale, slowly take those knees back out, and this time exhale, take the knees apart and slowly make a circle as you bring those knees closer to the chest. Inhale, the legs go back out, and then exhale, you find those circles. Do this two more times, and then we'll change directions.
So that next time you pass through your inhale, on your exhale, take the knees in towards your chest and then out away from your body. We're just starting to get into our hips a little bit more. Begin to find that space, that movement. Last round here of that circle. And then from here, just softly bring those knees in towards the chest, grab onto the shins, pull the knees up, lift your head and your shoulders away, squeeze them into those knees, a nice tight ball, and then inhale, roll the legs long, take the arms up overhead. From here, the fingertips reach back, your toes point forward, and then find this arch in your chest or in your back where your rib cage reaches up towards the ceiling, the belly reaches, finding this nice stretch for your lower back, for your abs, and then exhale, round the spine down, take the arms up overhead, bend the knees in towards the chest. From here, take your right knee in towards your chest and let your left foot plant. From here, just tightly squeeze, feel that engagement. And then from here, take your hands, wrap them around your thigh, and extend your foot up towards the ceiling. Think about those shoulders planting and rolling behind you. Then you can take the hands a little bit low or on the leg if you're having problems with your shoulders popping up. From here, just feel how it feels to point the toe and then flex the foot. As you flex the foot, think about your heel trying to stamp on the ceiling. Inhale, point the toe. Exhale, flex the heel. Two more times with this to your own breath. On your last round, just gently flexing the foot down towards the body. Begin to bend the knee in towards the chest. From here, you can either grab on to your ankle or if your heel or your uh, side of your foot is within reach for your hand, you can gently pull that knee down in towards the ground by your armpit and grab onto the outside of your foot. Your left leg can go long on the mat or it can stay bent. That option is completely up to you. As you engage here, you're thinking about your hamstring. So maybe just letting that shoulder peel up off the mat to straighten this leg and really feel that stretch in your hamstring. Exhale, bend that knee deeply back in and then inhale, extend. Exhale, bend it. Last time, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend it. Once you've bent it in, just take your heel back down to your hip and bend that knee back in towards the chest. Let your left leg go long. From here, take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Think about your right knee stacking over your hip and your heel being in line with your knee, creating a 90 degree angle. Let that right arm go long, out to the side, palm facing up, and then guide the right knee over to the left. Let that foot plant on the ground. Maybe the knee plants on the ground, maybe not, maybe you're not there yet. And then just notice what that left foot is doing. Mine's trying to avoid some blocks right now. So think about flexing that foot or pointing the toe. Either or is completely acceptable here. And then think about your right shoulder dropping down into the ground. Your gaze can be up towards the ceiling or looking at past that right arm. If you're looking at that right arm, just make sure that your shoulder is in line with your wrist, your wrist in line with your shoulder. Not trying to go up past it or down below it, just really trying to find that level where it's even with your shoulder. And then begin to notice where you're holding on to that tension, that tightness in your body. Using those deep breaths in, in and out through your nose. And then gently begin to pull that knee back in towards center. Take the other left knee and pull it in. Maybe just find a rock side to side. Resetting here. Maybe making those small circles, letting that feel good for you. And then when you are ready, plant the right foot down. Let the left leg go long, the foot reaching up towards the ceiling. Your hands wrap around your back of your thigh. And then think about those shoulders rolling down towards the mat. From here, point the toe up towards the ceiling. And then flex the foot. Pressing that heel up, extending through the leg. Make sure that your hip isn't off the mat. Really try to plant that hip down as you extend that heel up. 
From here, just softly begin to point the toe and then flex the foot. Maybe connecting that breath to this movement as we move. Two more times with this, pointing the toe and then flexing the heel. From here, just softly put a bend in the knee, flex the foot towards the body and see if you can grab onto the outside of the foot. If the outside of the foot isn't available, you can always grab onto your calf or your ankle, depending on what's available to you. And you can always just grab onto the back of the thigh as you press it in. Just make sure that your knee and your ankle are aligned with one another as you extend that heel up towards the ceiling. So wherever you're at with this, just engaging here. And then gently begin to straighten that leg. And then bend that knee deeply. Straighten that leg. And then bend it deeply. Your other leg can be down towards the ground or the knee can be bent. Last time here, extending that heel up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, just softly begin to take the heel down to the hips as you grab onto that shin. Let your right leg go along and take your right hand to the outside of the left knee. Let the left knee step over your hip and then let your heel be in line with your knee. Let your left hand open up to the side, palm facing up, your shoulder aligned with your wrist, and then gently begin to guide the left knee over to the right, finding this twist. You can let your left heel relax down on the ground. Maybe your knee relaxes down. Mine does not. And just find space. You can either be looking up at the ceiling or past your left fingertips. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. You should really begin to feel the stretch in the back of the left hip all the way across the IT band. So just really engaging and letting this feel good. And then notice what your right foot is doing. Legs are pointed here. Just find an option. And then find your breath. See if you can soften those shoulders. Soften your jaw. Find your breath. Nice breathing in and out through your nose. And then inhale slowly, slowly bring that knee back up to center. Exhale, tuck both knees in towards your chest. Find a nice squeeze, maybe even lifting the shoulders and head off, off the mat, squeezing your forehead in towards your knees. And then exhale, just slowly lower that down. Find a happy baby. So grab the outsides of that feet or those ankles or those calves or the back of the thighs, whatever you can grab. Bend those knees deeply down towards the ground and extend those heels up towards the ceiling. Think about your hips here. So the hips are lowering down towards the ground. That tailbone is lowering down. We're finding space to open up into the thighs, into the hips. Inhale. Maybe you straighten one leg, deeply bend into the other. And do the same thing on the other side. A few times with that, maybe it feels good to just rock side to side. And then we'll slowly, slowly let the knees go, pull them in towards the chest, and begin to rock forwards and backwards along your spine to work your way up to a seated position. Let it take time, let it feel good as you begin to rock, and then cross those legs one on top of the other. From here, just sit up as tall as you can. Think about removing the flesh away from your sit bones. Your hands will come to your knees. Think about rolling those shoulders up to your ears and then down your back. Let those shoulder blades plug into your back so that your chest shines a little bit forward and your collarbones broaden. From there, pull your bottom ribs in. Engage your belly to help you stay stable and connected. Breathing in and out through your nose. Take a deep inhale through your nose. A deep exhale through your nose. Inhale, reach those arms up overhead. Let the palms meet and then pull them down to heart center. From here, think about where your elbows are engaged. So don't try to let them be relaxed down towards your side, hugging yourself in. Really extend the elbows out to the sides and press the palms in towards one another. Think about your shoulders, if they're scrunched up, if you can lower and plug those shoulders into your back. Find space for your neck to be free. 
Find space, take an inhale. Maybe those arms come right back up. Exhale, begin to bend at your elbows. We call this cactus arms, where the palms of the hands are facing forward and we're bending at those elbows. Notice if your elbows are down low and try to make those elbows be shoulder height. And then think about if you're shrugging those shoulders up to your ears to just plug them into your back and then pull those lateral ribs in. This should be a huge engagement here. Inhale, find a nice deep breath in, and then exhale, keep those elbows the same height as the shoulders as we bring those arms to touch. Keep those elbows lifted, and then inhale, open back up. See if those elbows can go back, those shoulder blades be squeezed together. And then exhale, those shoulder blades begin to come apart as we squeeze the elbows together. Keep those elbows lifted. Two more times here to your own breath. Finding those nice engagement, keeping those elbows up high. This should begin to work out. You should be getting to find some sweat here as you pull those elbows in to meet. And then last one, keep them open. And then reach those arms up overhead. Exhale, slowly begin to plant the hands in front of you. From here, think about your shoulders, where they're at. Plug them into your back. Let your chest shine forward. Think about your neck being long here. Think about those hips pressing into the mat. As you begin to look forward, lead with your chest as you walk the hands forward. When you've gone as far as you can go, let your head hang heavy down towards the ground. Think about your elbows being lifted up away from your mat. Engaging your arms, pressing your hands into the mat to push those hips back. Think about finding space for that neck to rock side to side. And breathing in and out through your nose. On the next inhale, walk those hands back in. From here, let those hands come behind you. Fingertips face towards the hips. Think about those shoulders squeezing in towards one another. So the shoulder blades are squeezing in towards one another. Your chest is shining and lifting up towards the ceiling. And then your gaze goes up. Breathe into your chest space, into those collarbones to find space to open up within the shoulders. And then exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, round down as you walk those hands back in. From here, change the cross on your leg. So that the opposite one leads in front, remove the flesh away from your sit bones to sit up as tall as you can. Take those hands to your knees, pull those bottom ribs in to engage your belly, roll those shoulders up to your ears and then down your back. Make sure those ribs didn't flare out, pull them back in. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, the hands meet and come down to heart center. Those elbows are engaged. The palms are squeezing in towards one another. Find space for that neck. Inhale, reach those arms back overhead. And then exhale, slowly let the right hand plant down. You can come up onto the fingertips or plant the hand depending on where you're at. Take that left hand right above your right temple space. From here, just sit up as tall as you can, and then gently take your head over to the left as you walk those fingertips over to the right. Find space in that neck and the shoulder. Just close your eyes here. And take three deep breaths in and out through your nose. Inhale, slowly walk those fingertips back overhead, reach both arms up, and then exhale, slowly let the left hand down, right hand comes right above the left ear, the temple space. Sit up tall, and then gently take the fingertips over to the left as you gently take the head over to the right. Find space. Notice if there's any tension, tightness. Close your eyes and find three deep breaths. In and out through your nose. Inhale, 
slowly walk those fingertips back and both take take both arms up overhead and then exhale slowly hinge forward from here let your hands plant think about those shoulders plugging into your back or chest shining forward send those hips down to the ground and begin to walk the hands out in front inhale look forward and then exhale fold keep those elbows lifted up off the mat seeing how this posture feels from one side to the other Notice, are you feeling different sensations in your body that you weren't feeling on the other side? Just taking a moment to recognize, not judge, but just recognize the difference. Inhale, slowly walk those hands back in. And then exhale, take the hands behind you, fingertips face towards the hips. You can do what we did before where we just open those shoulders up, squeeze those shoulder blades together, Broaden the collarbones. Or you can begin to intensify the stretch by planting the feet out in front of you and lifting the hips up towards the ceiling as your head goes back. Think about keeping those hips high and engaged. And then exhale when you're ready, tucking that chin into your chest, lower down the hips if they're lifted. Swing the uh, feet over to one side and plant your hands out in front. Make your way to a tabletop position. From your tabletop, just make sure that your hands are spread wide. Your index, pointer, finger, and thumb are pressed down into the mat. You want to stack your knees over your hips, hips over knees, and then your shoulders over your wrists. From here, just gently find those cat cows. Inhale, you drop the belly, you lift the chin. Exhale, you round the spine, push the mat away. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, round and push away. Find that connection to your breath as you find these movements. And then maybe adding in a wag of the tail as you continue to go through. Maybe you really like that chest or that press through child's pose. And then pressing just right past those shoulder blades to drop the belly. And then rounding as you fold back. Whatever movements work for you here, just finding space to find them, to listen to your body, to realize how it feels, to be moving and flowing right now in this moment. Exhale, meet back at center. Inhale, curl your back toes under. Think about your belly engaging here. Inhale, begin to lift those knees to hover. Just right above the mat, about an inch off. Press your fingertips into the mat. Push the mat away. Pull that belly button in towards your spine. Inhale. And then on your exhale, lift the knees up. Begin to lift those hips high. And then try to lower down the heels. First downward dog. Think about if your body is shifting forward, trying to stack those shoulders or over your wrist, and then press the shoulders away from those hands back towards the back of the room as you lift the hips high. From here, if your gaze is forward, look past your shins, back at the back of the room, and then notice if you're scrunching your shoulders up to your ears where you can feel those shoulders on your ears and plug those shoulders into your back. Drop your head just a little bit lower to the ground to plug those shoulders in. From here, just gently begin to pedal at your feet like you're riding a bike. Find space to open up into those hamstrings. Connect your breath to your movement. And then inhale, knee back at center. Exhale, lower down your knees. Let your feet kiss your big toes. Spread those knees as wide as you'd like. Send those hips back to your heels. Notice your arms out in front of you. Let those elbows be lifted as you lower the head down towards the ground. Think about the eyes and the elbows. I always like to call this my elbow, and then this is the eye of the elbow. So the eyes and the elbows are facing towards one another as our head is resting down on the mat. This creates a rotation in the shoulder blades in the shoulders that lets your armpits be hollow. Begin to notice your breath, how it feels to be laying here right now in this room. Mm -hmm. 
maybe there's different sounds that you can hear and you can connect with. And then begin to notice your breath in and out through your nose. Is it soft? Is it shallow? Is it fast? Is it slow? And then maybe taking the time to set an intention through class today. So really what this posture, what, these, what yoga means to you in this moment. Are you trying to let go of something? Are you trying to gain something from your practice? Whatever it may be, just holding on to that intention through class today. Inhale, when you are ready, press your hands into the mat and push yourself back into that tabletop position. From here, curl your back toes under, lift your back knees, find that downward dog. Think about those hips lifting up high, your gaze being back at your shins, and then inhale, look forward at your thumbs. Exhale, begin to walk your feet up to your hands. Forward fold. Gently bend those knees. Think about pressing your heels down into the ground as you try to lift your hips high and then bring your nose down towards your shins. Inhale, halfway lift, create that number seven. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, reach those arms up overhead. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Think about the hands pressing in towards one another, those elbows lifted, those shoulders rolling back, your chest shining forward, and then pull those bottom ribs in. Inhale, take your hands to your hips. You want your hand to touch your hips, that uh, point, your iliac crest, and then the iliac point, that bony point of your hip. Take your index finger and wrap it around that point. Take your thumbs and wrap them around your back. From here, and just find how it feels to just press those hips just slightly forward. Think about the engagement of the foot that's, or that's happening in the feet as those arms roll back just slightly. Inhale, find that gaze forward, not down at the ground. And then exhale, slowly begin to hinge at your hips. Put a soft bend in your knees. As you hinge, your tailbone is going to reach up and your chest is going to reach down. Pull that belly button into your spine to find some engagement. And then inhale, slowly rise and press the hips forward. Exhale, begin to point those the point of your hips to lower down towards the ground. Put a soft and at your knee. The tailbone reaches back towards the back of the room. And then inhale, press. You should really begin to feel the stretch from your glutes all the way down to your hamstrings. So one last time here, adding on, tilt that pelvis as you curl that tailbone up towards the ceiling. There will be a huge arch in your spine here as your chest reaches forward. Put a bend in your knee and put an even deeper bend at your knee as you send those hips back, your chest lowers down towards the ground. Your shoulder blades are in towards your back. This is your half lift. Think about pressing those heels into the mat to lift the hips higher to try to straighten the legs. And your hands are either gonna come to your hamstrings or sorry, to your thighs or down to your shins. Notice that space that happens when you go to your shins if you can keep those shoulders plugged into your back. Looking forward past the edge of your mat. You should begin to feel this engagement in your back of your hamstrings. Inhale, on your exhale, bend those knees even deeper. Try to keep the knees aligned with those heels. That'll help you keep the hips back towards the back of the room. And then try to lower your nose down towards your shin. From here, inhale, halfway lift, create that number seven. Press into the heels as you straighten the legs, pull those shoulder blades into your back, and then exhale, bend at those knees, fold over. This time, inhale, reach those arms up overhead, palms come up, they meet, exhale, hands to heart center. Holding that engagement felt a little bit different than your normal forward fold, noticing what it takes to open up into those hamstrings to feel this stretch a little bit deeper, a little bit more different than you normally would. Adding on to this a little bit more, inhale, arms up overhead, and then exhale, slowly begin to take that tailbone out, put a soft bend at your knees, find that halfway lift, and then exhale, fold the rest of the way down. Inhale, like halfway, and then exhale, plant your hands, 
and step your feet back one at a time to find plank. Inhale, exhale, lower the knees down. Begin to shift, you can uncurl the toes, and then begin to shift your shoulders past your wrists. From here, think about the eyes of those elbows turning forward. There's a rotation so that those elbows face back towards the back of the room. And then softly begin to bend at those elbows as you lower your chest down. Inhale, lift your chest and head. Exhale, forehead to mat. Inhale, lift your chest and head. Exhale, forehead to mat. This time, inhale, lift your chest and head. Exhale, curl the toes under and begin to reverse push yourself up into a or into a downward dog. If that reverse back up doesn't work for you, you can always bend onto your knees, shift back into child pose, curl those toes under and lift up. Just notice that there's different ways from get, to get to point A to point B. It's kind of like choose your own adventure. How do you want to get there? Inhale, look up in between the palms of your hands, and then exhale, walk your feet up towards your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, create that number seven, and exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up all the way to standing, palms come overhead, they touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up overhead, and then exhale this time, find cactus arms. Think about your elbows not being low and not being too high. We really want them to be at shoulder height, palms facing forward, and then think about those ribs pulling in here. Inhale, exhale, bring those hands out to the sides. You want to take it so that your palms turn down. So the palms are going to turn down, and then they're going to turn around so the thumbs face towards the ground. From here, we can bend at our elbow, and then the other elbow, maybe our palms reach behind us, and we can interlace the fingers, letting our thumbs touch and extend them out. If this is like absolutely not, this is not going to happen for you, you can always come back in and just grab opposite elbows. Wherever you're at, pull those ribs in, let your chest shine up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, bend at those knees, hinge at your hips, let those arms come up away from your back as you fold over. Finding that extension, think about bending those knees to get your belly and your chest over your thighs. Inhale, exhale, let that body go. Inhale, halfway lift, create that number seven. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, find plank. Inhale, exhale, lower down to your knees, uncurl your back toes, shift your shoulders over your wrists, take those eyes and the elbows, they face forward, and those elbows face back towards the back of the room. Bend at your elbows as you lower down towards the ground. Your hands should be next to your rib cage here. Inhale, lift your chest and head. Exhale, forehead to mat. Inhale, lift your chest and head. Exhale, forehead to mat. This time, adding on inhale, lift your chest and head. And then exhale, bring your hands to hover. Inhale, reach those arms out in front of you. And then exhale, bend at the elbows. Inhale, reach them out in front. Exhale, bend at the elbows. Inhale, reach them out in front. Exhale, bend at the elbows. Plant the hands, curl the back toes under, and lift yourself up to that downward dog, knowing that you can always pass through that child toes to lift up. Inhale, exhale, walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, create that number seven. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up all the way to standing, palms come overhead, they touch. And then exhale, hands to heart center. From here, just taking a moment to make sure that those blocks are within grabbing distance as we work our way into this final flow. Pressing those hands in towards one another, letting those elbows be high, finding space. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, let the arms come up overhead. 
and then exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, create that number seven. Exhale, plant your hands and step your right foot back. Take that left foot and let it go in between the palms of your hands. Think here about creating space between your feet. So you don't want to walk your hands back to your feet because that shortens the distance. You really want to walk your foot to your hands to elongate the space in between your feet. From here, just grab onto those blocks. You can place it at whatever height works for you. Just make sure your hands are planted into those blocks. If you're using them, inhale. Try to stack your knee over your ankle. And then think about that back heel really reaching back towards the back of the room. Inhale. Exhale, we're slowly going to bring that knee down to hover. So it's not going to roll her all the way down. It's just going to hover right above the mat. Inhale, push up. Exhale, hover. Inhale, push up. Exhale, hover. Inhale, press up. This time, exhale, lower all the way down. Uncurl that back foot. Inhale, begin to reach the arms up overhead. Think about here, trying to align your hip over your knee. And then really pull that belly button in towards your spine, those bottom ribs in, as you extend those arms up overhead. And then right here, see if we can shift the weight forward to bend that knee or to stack that knee over that front ankle. Mine doesn't go all the way there, that's okay. I'm really feeling the engagement in the legs, so I'm gonna stop right there. Your gaze is forward. Exhale, begin to hinge up those elbows, find cactus arms. Bring those elbows the height of the shoulders. Inhale, up towards the ceiling, shine that chest up. Exhale, extend the arms long. Inhale, slowly begin to find that wrap as you take the thumbs down towards the ground. And then exhale, find that bind behind you. Either interlace the fingers or grab onto opposite elbows. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, slowly begin to hinge forward. We're trying to find space to take our shoulders in between our legs. Try to lift those elbows away from your back. Inhale. If you fall, it's okay. If you lose your balance, just get right back into it. Inhale, exhale, unrelease those binds. From here, heel toe your left foot out as your hands come inside of your leg. From here, think about if your hips are really high and slowly begin to lower those hips down to the ground, knowing that you can always use a blanket under your knees if this is becoming uncomfortable. Find space. Your left foot can be at a night or a 45 degree angle over to the side. Inhale. Exhale. Just lower down, maybe a little bit deeper. Maybe you use the blocks to support you here. And come onto the elbows. Wherever you're at, find two more of the deepest breaths you can take. Inhale, filling up completely through your nose. And exhale, letting it go out your nose. Last breath here, really fill it up, engaging those abs, engaging those lungs. And exhale, release. Take those blocks over to either side if you're using them. Heel, toe, that left foot back in. From here, just grab onto those blocks once more. Maybe plant the hands as you begin to straighten the front leg. Try not to stick, send your hips all the way back to the back of the room, but really think about stacking your hip over your knee. And what I mean by that is don't let your hips slide over. Really engage. And then look forward past those fingertips. It's okay if there's a bend in your knee. My knee is deeply bent here, and I'm still feeling the stretch. So know that's okay if that knee is bent. Look forward past your toes at the front of your mat. Reach your neck, your back as long as you can. Shift those hips back as you hinge and fold over. Inhale, slowly begin to flatten that foot down, bend into that knee. Take those blocks over to the side. Plant the hands down to the ground. Curl your back to under lift your back knee. Inhale, exhale, step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up all the way to standing palms, come overhead, big touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
and pull your hips forward. So that back hip is reaching back and the front hip is reaching forward. Find space in between the feet if you need to, and then pull those ribs in. Take your hands back to cactus arms. Inhale, exhale, find that line. Begin to look, take those thumbs down towards the ground as you wrap the hands behind you. Inhale, look up, and then exhale, slowly begin to take the shoulders inside of the leg. Inhale, exhale, let that bind go. Turn those toes to face forward from here. You can find your lizard from a high lizard where you don't lower down the knee, and you just heel toe the left foot out. Your hands come in between your palms, or you can always choose to lower down that knee and find space for your lizard. Two breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, wherever you're at, keep your knees lifted or not. You can slowly begin to heel toe that left foot back in. You can lift that leg. If your left knee is lifted, you can begin to straighten the front leg and find an extended pyramid. If you're on your knees, you can just straighten the front leg and find half splits. So you have two options here. Notice where you're at in this engagement and just try to straighten that front leg. If you're on the extended pyramid, think about that heel, back heel pressing down as you try to straighten that front leg and fold over. Wherever you're at, slowly stack that knee over that ankle. Plant your hands down on the ground and step your right foot up to meet your left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up all the way to standing palms from overhead, they touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up overhead, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot back this time. Find that space for your foot to come in between your hands. You can grab onto those blocks if you'd like. From here, just slowly begin to pull that belly button away from your uh, leg as you reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, lower down that back heel. You might need to take it over to the side and short, shorten your stance as you turn those hips the face towards the front of the room. Bend into that front knee and then soften the shoulders as you bend the elbows down. Inhale. Exhale, extend the arms long. Inhale, rotate those thumbs down towards the ground. And then exhale, find the bind. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, slowly begin to hinge forward, letting your shoulders come in between the legs. Inhale. Exhale, let that bind go. Come onto the toes of the back foot. Heel, toe your right foot out. Find space. You can be at a high lizard, or you can lower down that knee, uncurl the back toes, and be at a low lizard. Wherever you're at, just find some breath. Notice, is it smooth? Is it shallow? Is it fast? Is it slow? Inhale, slowly press those hands into the mat. Heel toe that foot back in. You can move the block or your hands to the outside of that foot. If you are lifted, you can begin to straighten that front leg as your heel back heel lowers down. If you are planted, just begin to straighten that front leg. Let the heel lift, the toes lift as you hinge forward. Find two breaths here. And then exhale, plant that foot down. If the back toe is not already lifted, go ahead and lift it. Let's move those blocks over to the side, plant your hands down, and send your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up all the way to standing, palms come overhead, they touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. From here, just go ahead and find some space. Maybe grab a drink of water. We're gonna go into some balancing postures. So know that if you need a wall, go ahead and grab one. We'll only do 
it once on each side. So just grabbing that wall if you need it. Otherwise, just find space. Take your feet about hip width distance apart. From here, press down through your right foot. Come onto the toes of the left foot. Inhale, hold that belly button in as you begin to lift that left knee up. Pillar pose. Think about the foot being flexed towards the body. That knee being in line with the ankle. And then from here, take your left hand to the outside of the, or sorry, to the, take your right hand to the outside of the right knee and gently guide it over. So now we're like a Captain Morgan pose. Now from here, you can place the foot above or below the knee. And then really think if you're sinking your hips down to one side to really lift your hips up as you pull your belly button in. Inhale. Exhale, slowly take that knee back to center and lower down that foot. Maybe find a rock side to side. And then press down through that opposite foot. Come onto the toes and then lift the knee. From here, pull that belly button in. Try to stack the knee over your ankle. Inhale, take that hand to the inside of the leg and take that knee over. And place that foot above or below your knee. You can always have those toes down on the ground. This is still the same pose. And then think about, I can see it right now in the camera, my hips aren't even. Really try to pull the other hip up and lift it up. Good, from here, inhale. Exhale, slowly take that knee back to center. Plant that foot down, find space. Take your feet about as wide as your mat. Turn your heels and your toes out, and then look around, grab onto one of those blocks, and hit, place it behind your heels. We're going in for yogi squat. So inhale, lift those arms up overhead, and then exhale, slowly fold forward. As you fold forward, bend at your knees to lower your hips down onto that block. You can begin to take those hands to the outsides, or to the kneecaps, as you pull the knees open, sit up as tall as you can, shine your chest forward. From here, just find space to breathe, to open up, to notice how this feels. Press your heels down into the mat to engage and open up just a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale, slowly take those hands out in front of you. Plant the hands down, lift the hips up. Just remove that block from underneath you and as gracefully as you can, make your way to a seat. From here, take that right foot and plant it inside of the left leg. Look down at those toes and put a soft bend in the front knee. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead and exhale, fold forward. Maybe that foot's within reach, maybe you grab onto the calf. Think about as you fold, standing up, it's kind of the same concept as you're down. Your hips are trying to press back those sit bones are trying to press back as you're trying to reach down towards the ground. Inhale, exhale, slowly let that go. Doing the same thing on the opposite side. Take that left leg in, left foot comes the outside of the right leg. You can let that right knee lower down, put a soft bend into that leg out in front of you, reach the arms up overhead, and exhale, fold. Don't worry, I just screwed up my right or my left. It's fine, you know what you're doing. <laughs> Inhale, press those hips back as you reach forward, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly, slowly rise back up. Take both legs out in front of you. From here to start, I want you to deeply bend your knees. Think about those hip bones. So like those hip bones pressing into the mat to pull yourself up. So have a nice long spine. Those shoulders roll into your back. From here, reach your arms up overhead. And then exhale, begin to lead with your chest to let your chest come on top of your thighs. From here, those hands can come down to those feet. Think about your spine growing long, that chest pressing forward, your neck is long, looking forward. And from here, just slowly pick up your right heel and put it a little bit further out in front. And then lift up your left heel and put it at the same match. Flex your feet towards your body, sit up as tall as you can, and then lower your chest down towards your thighs. 
Your gaze is still forward, your head is still lifted. One last time, begin to extend that right foot up and then take the left foot up, squeeze, try to find that extension in your spine to grow long, and then exhale, fold. Again, to just let go of everything, so holding on to those feet, let those arms just come down by the side. Begin to just lose effort as you fold over, just letting gravity do its work. Seeing if there's any areas where you can soften. And then slowly, slowly rise up. From here, bend your right knee in towards your chest. Sit up as tall as you can. Take that right foot just slightly over to the side of your body so it's in line with your armpit. Uh, left foot is flexed towards the body. There can be a soft bend in that knee. Think about reaching those arms up overhead and then exhale, hinging forward. From here, just bring those arms out to your side and see if your shoulder is past this knee. If your shoulder is not past that knee, then just let your arms come out in front and reach. If your shoulder is past that knee, then slowly take that arm out. Again, point that thumb down towards the, gap, the ground as you begin to wrap the hand behind that leg. Then you can take this hand out, the left hand, and point the thumb down towards the ground to extend and reach and see if you can find that thumb. Think about looking forward, growing that spine long, pressing those hips into the mat as you begin to lower down towards that knee. Find space. Inhale, roll those shoulders back. Exhale. Inhale slowly, let that bind go. If you have it, rise back up. Take those legs out to the side. Let your hands come behind and just find some bend in your knees. Go rock side to side. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So let your right leg go long. Take that left knee in towards your chest. Sit up as tall as you can. Take the knee so it stacks right at your armpit, right? Make sure the toes are facing forward and the toes on your right foot are flexed. Good, you can put a soft bend in that right knee. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead and then exhale, hinge forward. If your shoulder is past, this one is kind of iffy for me. Uh, if that shoulder is past that knee, you can begin to turn the thumb down and find that wrap. And then take that arm out to the side, point the thumb down, and see if you can find that bind behind you. Sit up as tall as you can, shine those shoulders forward, and begin to bend. For me, this side isn't really working out, so I'm just gonna take that fold, knowing that it's okay if one side is different than the other. Honoring your body in that posture, and slowly just wherever you're at, roll those shoulders into your back, plug those sh shoulder blades in towards one another, and extend that spine as you reach forward. Inhale, slowly rise back up. Bend both knees and towards your chest. Take those hands behind you. Let the knees fall over to the right and then over to the left. From here, keep those knees bent, your feet flat on the mat. Bring those arms out in front, thumbs facing up. Tuck your chin to your chest and slowly lower down onto your back. Once you're all the way down, you can take those knees back in towards your chest. Maybe rock side to side here. Know if there's any soft, subtle movements you want to do. Maybe a happy baby. Maybe a spinal twist with your knees together. Bending over to one side and then to the other. Just finding space to find these last subtle movements. Making sure you round off on both sides as you finish off your practice. And then when you're ready, just slowly letting those legs go long. Letting your hands come down by your sides. Let those shoulders roll underneath. Take up just a little bit more space than you need. Let those toes roll in opposite directions. Just find space. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. 
Begin to count your inhales as one, your exhales as two, counting all the way up to 10. Once you've made it to 10, just begin to observe the body. Is there anywhere where you're still holding on to tightness, the tension? See if you can just melt in. Knowing that the ground is underneath you to support you, to hold you up. That's not going anywhere. It's okay to be open. It's okay to soften. Just begin to just normally breathe. And you can stay here as long as you'd like. You don't have to move when I move. You can continue to stay here. This feels good for you. Ending our practice, I'm going to slowly make my way up to a seated position. First, by awakening my body, wiggling my fingers and toes. If you're not quite there, just stay as you are. Knowing that that's okay too. Rolling those wrists and ankles, and then slowly bending at the knees. I prefer to roll over to one side to make my way up to that seated position. You can stay as you are laying down in Shavasana, or you can make your way up to that seated position. Letting those hands come to heart center. Bow your chin into your chest. We're just staying relaxed on the ground. Yoga means union, and namaste means I see you. Namaste, and thank you so much for practicing with me today. Bye.